Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I designed this jewelry themed Shopify website. This website is perfect for jewelry and accessory businesses and it's also desktop and mobile responsive. So this website looks perfect on mobile devices. In this video, I'll be using the softwares Shopify and Canva. If you're unfamiliar with Canva, you can set up a free account and create all kinds of graphics such as logos and web banners for your website. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. First, you're gonna open a Shopify, then go to online store and then themes. When you scroll down, you'll see all of Shopify's free website themes and I'll be installing the original Dawn theme. This is gonna be the base for the website. Click customize. When you click this icon, it will show you how the full screen version of the website will look. And when you click this phone icon, it will show you how the mobile version is going to look. I'm gonna click on this header and under desktop logo position, I'm gonna set this to middle center. This way your logo will display in the center of the website. Click theme settings, then logo. Here you can upload your brand's logo and favicon image straight from your computer. I'd recommend having your logo in a transparent PNG format. And under desktop logo width, you can increase the size of your logo. When you scroll down, then scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. That is called a sticky header, and right here you can remove that effect if you would like. I'm gonna click on the header and I'm gonna be displaying the social media icons. Then you're gonna click theme settings and social media. Here you can paste the links to your brand's social media pages. And those clickable social media icons will display up here on the announcement bar and on the footer of the website. Then I'll be removing the announcement bar text, but you can leave that in if you would like. Click colors, then open color scheme 1. I'm going to set the background to a light beige color. Then I'm going to open color scheme 2, and I'm going to change the background to a light tan color. Next, I'm going to click on this announcement bar, and I'm going to set this to color scheme 2. Click typography, and I'm going to be changing the main font to the font Cormorant. Then I'm going to change the secondary font to the font Cabin Bold. When customers click Catalog, this will take them to the Shop All section of your website. And when they click Contact Us, it will take them to your contact form. If you'd like to design a more custom navigation bar, you're going to open Shopify, then go to Online Store, and then Navigation. Open your main menu, and here you can edit the current menu items and add new menu pages. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the Slideshow section. To design the Slideshow section, first I'm going to import a Slideshow. Then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to remove the image banner and this featured collection. I'm going to remove the heading text and the subheading, then remove the container. Apply the outline button style, then you can retitle this button label and select the link leading to a page or a product collection within your website. Under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom left. Then I'm going to repeat those steps for this second slide. Under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom center. Click add block, then I'm going to repeat those steps for this third slide. For this slide, under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom left. And next, I'll be showing you how I designed these three web banners for the slideshow. Alright, here on Canva, I'm going to click custom size, and the dimensions I'm going to be doing for the web banners are 4320 by 2160 pixels. First, I'm going to be changing the background color to a light beige color. Then, I've searched for a faded element, and I'm going to be uploading one of these onto the page. By the way, if you don't have Canva Pro, just be sure to use their free elements that don't have the Canva Pro badge. Then I've searched for a shadowed plant element, and I'm going to upload one of these onto the page. Click text, then upload a text box, then apply the font Hamilton. Upload another text box, put this in uppercase, then apply the font Dream Avenue. Then I'm going to upload another text box, put this in uppercase, and apply the font Belize. Click elements, then I'm going to upload a square shape. Then I'm going to upload an image grid. Then I'm going to duplicate this. When you click upload, under upload files, you can upload your brand and product photos straight from your computer. Then you can just drag and drop those pictures onto those image grids. Then I'm going to click add page. You're going to scroll up and copy and paste this faded element. Then I'm going to upload a square shape. Then I'm going to upload an image grid. Then I'm going to duplicate this and position it behind the main image grid. Then you can drag and drop your brand pictures. I'm going to scroll up and copy and paste this text box. For this smaller text box, I'm going to apply the font to Beleza. Then I'm going to duplicate this and create a smaller tagline text. Click add page. I'm going to scroll up and copy and paste this faded element. And I'm also going to copy and paste this image box. I'm going to copy and paste this text box. Then upload another text box and apply the font Hamilton. Then I'm going to copy and paste this text box. Once you're finished, these will be the three web banners for the slideshow. This last step is optional, but I'm going to upload a faded rectangle element. And this will create a subtle shadow effect at the top of the banners. Then I'm going to download each of these pages individually in a PNG format for the best quality. 
Here on Shopify, I'm going to click select image. Then you can upload that main web banner design. Under slide heights, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. Then I'm going to set the pagination style to dots. Then you can upload the remaining banners. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the slideshow section of the website. By the way, this Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify theme template in a downloadable format for in case you just don't have time to design your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store. I've included a step-by-step -step installation guide to help you with installing and editing this website template. And this is a full template bundle. So I've also included all of the Canva templates that you'll see me creating throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version version of Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these templates. This pre-made Shopify website template will save you a ton of time, and I will link that in my description box below. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the collection list. So right below the slideshow, I'm going to import a collection list. I'm going to retitle the heading, then increase the number of columns to four. You can enable the view all button if you have more than four collections in your store and I'd recommend enabling the swipe on mobile. Then when you click on a collection, it will allow you to select each collection you'd like to feature. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with collections on Shopify, they're just categories you've chosen to create to assign certain products to. That way you can keep your products on your store organized. Once you're finished, that's how I added the collection list. And also here's how this section looks on mobile. Next, I'm gonna show you how I designed the About Us section. First, I'm gonna import an image banner. Then I'm going to remove the container on desktop. I'm going to set this to color scheme 3. Then you're going to open color scheme 3. And I'm going to set the background to a tan color. Then you can retitle this section and insert your about us section text. I'm going to remove the second button label, apply the outline button style. Then you can retitle this main button label and select the link. Back here on Canva, I'm going to click add page. I'm going to change the background to a tan color. Then I'm going to upload another shadowed plant element. Then I'm going to upload a faded circle element, and I'm going to lower the opacity of this. Next, I'm going to upload an image grid. Then I'm going to upload another faded rectangle element. Then you can drag and drop your brand picture. Upload a text box. Here you can type in the name of your business. Then I'm going to apply the font to Dream Avenue. Upload another text box, and apply the font to Beautifully Delicious. Then I'm going to download this page and upload it into that image banner here on Shopify. Under image behavior, I'm gonna apply the zoom in on scroll. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the about us section. Next, I'm gonna show you how I designed the shop qualities section. First, I'm gonna import a multi-column. I'm gonna remove the heading and the button label, then enable the swipe on mobile. I'm gonna remove the column background and set the column alignment to center. When you click on a column, under heading, you can list each shop quality that your store offers. For an example, you can put fast shipping or quality materials. And under description, you can write a mini description to match. Here on Canva, I'm gonna click add page. I'm gonna change the background to that light beige color, then upload a circle shape. Then I'm gonna upload a faded circle element. Then you can upload icons to represent each of those shop qualities. Once you're finished, you can download each of these icons individually. And here on Shopify, you can click select image and upload each of those icons. Then under image width, I'm gonna set this to half width of column. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the shop qualities section. Next, I'll be showing you how I added the featured product collection. First, I'm gonna import a featured collection. I'm gonna set this to color scheme two. Then I'm going to retitle the heading and be sure to enable the swipe on mobile. Next, you can select which collection you'd like to feature. For an example, most people feature their best-selling product collection. Once you're finished, that's how I added the featured collection. And here's how this section looks on mobile. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the displayed customer reviews section. First, I'm going to import a multi-column. I'm going to remove the button label, retitle the heading, then increase the number of columns to four. I'm going to set the column alignment to center. Then when you click on a column, under heading, I'm going to be pasting the star emojis to represent the customer's rating. Then under description, you can paste in the reviews that you'll be featuring. I'd recommend featuring the customer's name, and you can also insert a link leading straight to the product they left the review on. Then I'm going to enable the swipe on mobile. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the customer reviews section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the second web banner section. I'm going to import an image banner. Then I'm going to retitle this section, and then you can retitle the button label and select the link. Back here on Canva, I'm going to click add page. I'm going to change the background to a tan color, then upload a square shape. 
Then I'm gonna upload an image frame. Then I'm gonna duplicate this. Then you can drag and drop your brand pictures. I'm gonna upload a text box. Then apply the font Beautifully Delicious. Then I'm gonna click Effects and apply the Lift effect. Then I'm gonna download this page and upload it into this image banner here on Shopify. Under Banner Height, I'm gonna set this to Adapt a First Image. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the second web banner section. And here's how this section looks on mobile. Next, I'm gonna show you how I designed the email signup and the featured blog post section. I'm gonna retitle this section. Then I'm gonna import a multi-row. I'm gonna remove this third row, but you can leave that in if you would like. When you click on a row, under heading, you can paste in the title for the blog post. I'll be using this text as an example, but you can also put a mini description of the blog post and a caption to match. Then you can retitle the button labels and paste the link leading straight to that blog post. Then you can upload pictures to represent the covers for those blog posts. Once you're finished, that's why I added the email signup in the featured blog post section. And lastly, I'm going to show you how I designed the Instagram post section. First, I'm going to import an image banner. Then I'm going to remove the text and the button labels. Then I'm going to insert a rich text. Then I'm going to remove the text. Then you can retitle the button label and paste the link leading straight to your brand's Instagram page. Back here on Canva, I'm going to click add page. I'm going to change the background to that beige color. Then you're going to upload an image frame. I'm going to duplicate this and position it behind that main image. And I'll be designing this page in a stair step pattern. Then under Upload Files, you can upload the Instagram posts that you'll be featuring, and you're going to drag and drop them onto those frames. Next, I'm going to upload an Instagram icon, and I'm going to reduce the opacity of this. Upload a text box, and apply the font Hamilton. Upload another text box, I'm going to put this in uppercase, then apply the font Dream Avenue. I'm going to duplicate this and create a smaller text right below that. I'm going to upload another text box. Here you can insert your brand's Instagram username. And then I'm going to apply the font Noto Sheriff Display and put this in italic. Next, you can download this page and upload it into that image banner. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. And once you're finished, that's how I designed the Instagram post section. And here is the finished Shopify website. Don't forget, this pre-made Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify website template. And if you're unfamiliar with Shopify template, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that website theme into your store. This website template is already laid out and designed for you, so all you have to do is add your pictures and change the text. And this is a full template bundle, so I've also included all of the Canva templates that you've seen me creating throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these templates. I've included a step-by-step -step installation guide to help you with installing and editing this Shopify template, and I will link that in my description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.